Yo, so this week is actually pretty light when it comes to releases, but that doesn't mean there aren't some kicks that you should add to your collection. Let's start the show. Welcome to The Heat Check. I am your host, Jacques Slade. And this week, I'm actually gonna keep it pretty short because I feel like there's only a few things that you should be really interested in or that you should pick up for your collection. All right, starting with the Air Jordan 14 last shot. Now, most of you know the story of this shoe, how it was the actual shoe and the colorway that Michael Jordan wore when he took his last shot at the Chicago Bull. You also know that the shoe's design was inspired by the Ferrari 550M, which is where the logo comes from on the side panel. These are dropping on Thursday, and if you wanna grab a of those that will cost you $190. Moving over to the Air Max side of things, we have the Air Max 90, which is one of my favorite models in this multicolor colorway. Nike is billing this one as a quick strike and those will cost you $140. Keeping up with the quick strike vibes in the same sort of vein in the multicolor upper is the Nike Air Zoom Spiridon. Uh, these again are dropping in that same multicolor kind of upper there. Those are going to be a little more expensive at 160 but if you like that quick strike love, you can grab those over at Finish Line. The buzz around the Adidas Ultra Boost has been a little tame for the last few months, but Adidas is still cooking under the Ultra Boost silhouette. Dropping on the 13th is the Ultra Boost Clima, which will be arriving in a black and in a white colorway. It looks like Adidas did a really good job with the prime knit on these uppers, and those will cost you $200. Now, a brand that is on a serious come up right now on the women's side is Puma. They are killing it when it comes to the women's side of things, and their new Fenty slides will be dropping in three different colorways. Now, finish line is actually going to have these in stock and they'll cost you $80 if you want to grab yourself a pair. Now jumping into the basketball vibes, we have the Nike Kyrie 4 and that one's going to be dropping in this aqua colorway. I honestly feel like Kyrie's shoes would have gotten a lot more love if the Celtics would have went a little bit further into the playoffs and also if he wasn't hurt. You can grab this pair for $120 and keeping with the basketball vibes, the Nike PG2 will be arriving in a photo blue colorway. Again, I say this every week, I know, but at that price point of $100, $110. It's really hard to beat a basketball shoe like the Nike PG2 and you can grab those over at finish line. Now for you old school sneakerheads, you are actually in for a treat as the Air More Money will be releasing this week. This silhouette has been receiving quite a bit of love lately and those will cost you $160. On the more exclusive side of things, Nike is dropping the Off-White Mercurial Vaporfly in a black and in an orange colorway. This is another collab with Virgil and you know how he likes soccer or he played soccer as a kid, so this is his first foray into the soccer shoes on the Nike side. These are going to be quite hard to get, so if you do want a pair, you're gonna have to stay on it and they will cost you $200. Jumping ahead to Saturday, we have the Air Max 97 Plus dropping in the Silver Shark colorway. The Air Max 97 Plus is a mixture of two silhouettes, I guess in a bit of a hybrid of sorts, and you can grab those for $175. Finishing out the weekend's releases is the new Adidas POD System S.31. That's a long name, but really the shoe is just called the POD System. These feature boost in the heel. They have a really responsive EVA foam in the forefoot, and then they have what they're calling a density plate in the middle, or a bit of a shank plate. Uh, was at the launch today here in London, and really looking forward to these hitting the floor and you guys getting your hands on these those will cost you $130 and again we'll be dropping on Saturday all right, so with that being said, that is going to do it for the show today. As always, I try to give you guys everything that I think you'll definitely be interested in. As always, I am Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line, and I appreciate you. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.